Thank you for attending another Debaco University video. In this video, we'll be looking at cannabis compounds, kind of a general introduction to the three main classifications of compounds that cannabis can produce. So the first major category here would be uh, cannabinoids. This is the word cannabinoid refers to every chemical substance, regardless of st structure or origin, that joins with cannabinoid receptors in the body and the brain. So while this is thought of to be cannabis exclusive, it's actually not. Two cannabinoids that are produced in high amounts, though, in cannabis would be THC and CBD. And these are chemical compounds secreted by the cannabis flowers that provide relief to a array of symptoms including pain, nausea, anxiety, as well as inflammation. THC has that strong psychoactive effect, meaning it makes a person high, that euphoric high, and we see the chemical structure located uh, up in this direction over here. And then the CBD down a little bit lower over on this side is thought to have anti-psychoactive uh, effect that controls or moderates the psychoactive high caused by THC and anxiety. It's also been shown to have some potential medical benefits when we're looking at reducing seizures just as one example. You can notice their chemical structures are very similar, uh, so just be mindful that small changes in chemical structure can have profound effects. And we're seeing most, most notably the difference between uh, THC and CBD located right here with the bonds located in this region. Then we also have something called terpenes. So uh, terpenes are aromatic oils that um, color cannabis varieties with distinctive flavors like citrus, berry, mint, or pine. Plants produce terpenes naturally to repel predators and also attract pollinators. So again, not unique to cannabis, but definitely noticed as you hear a lot of people talk about uh, terpene profiles regarding a cannabis flower or end product. The plant's terpene profile can be influenced, though, by many factors, and that can be climate, weather, the age of the plant, the maturation, the fertilizers, the soil type, the time of day, and also the season. So those can all impact the terpene profile that a plant may have. Lastly, we have flavonoids here, and these are a class of plant secondary metabolites that have a polyphenic structure widely found in fruits, vegetables, and certain beverages as well. Flavonoids are responsible for the color and aroma of flowers and in fruits attract pollinators and sequentially fruit dispersion to help in seed and spore germination and the growth and development of seedlings as well. Flavonoids protect the plant from different biotic and abiotic stresses and act as unique UV filters. You might be associating that with maybe a blueberry as it ripens. You can see that there's different flavonoids here as they, go, uh, as they go through the maturation process. Some plants, for example, poison ivy, will produce kind of a reddish tone to their leaves. And those are flavonoids to help protect these young leaves from the harsh UV light and they'll slowly green up over time. So just a quick overview here of the three main classifications of compounds produced by the cannabis plant.